Metadata is extra information that uh, kind of in the background of a document. First, let me just show you what I mean by that. Here's a document. I'm just going to type the quick brown box. And I'll save that to my desktop. Desktop, and let's call it box. Save. So there's a lot of information in that file. Here's the file I just created that you are you don't see on the surface. And I'll show you kind of a fun little secret about Word documents. Microsoft, ever since Word 2007, the file format they've been using for the Word documents is actually zip files. I'm going to add a .zip on the end of this to change this file type. And that reveals it as the zip file that it truly is. And now when I double click on this file, it opens up that uh, zip folder and shows me all of the contents of this Word document broken out into its uh, component parts. And you can browse around in here and see here's uh, some information, archaic stuff that is fairly meaningless to us, uh, and see all sorts of information about this document, which is not visible when you open it as a Word document. Uh, here's some more bizarre stuff. Here, it's kind of some interesting stuff. Look at this. It says that uh, the creator of this file was Scott Campbell. And it was last modified by Scott Campbell. It's been revised one time. Uh, and here's some timestamps showing when it was created and modified and so forth. Well, maybe I don't want the person I'm sending this file to <laughs> to know that it's been modified one time. Maybe I don't even know, want them to know that I was the original creator of this file. So this is information you might want to remove from a document before you send it to people. That's what metadata scrubbing is all about. Uh, and it gets a lot more serious than this. If you're using uh, track changes or comments in a document, then there's uh, all kinds of potentially inflammatory material that you'd want to remove. So that's what metadata is and why we might want to remove it. Let me return this to its Word file type by deleting the dot .zip on the end. So now it's a Word document again. So uh, within Word, you can also see a lot of that metadata, but not all, by clicking on the File Info uh, button here. And over on the right-hand side, here's some of that same information we were looking at, the author and the last modified by uh, total editing time, one minute. So here's uh, some, but not all, of the uh, metadata that's contained in this file. That's the information we're going to be getting rid of. Now, ever since Word 2007, Word has included, built right into it, uh, really pretty good metadata scrubbing mechanisms. The problem is uh, it's kind of tucked away. People don't tend to use it. They forget to use it. It's uh, kind of a hassle to use it. Uh, so what the form tool and Doxera both have just uh, introduced in their most recent update is a way to turn on automatic metadata scrubbing uh, that just happens in the background. It's making use of Word's built-in features, but it's making it uh, happen automatically for you during the Petrify process. Let's open a form that uh, here's one we did a couple of weeks ago. Here, no, I don't want that one. There we go. Here's a form we did a couple of weeks ago. If I fill it in, there's my result. And you are already familiar with probably the Petrify button here. If I want to send this document out of the office to someone, I don't want them to see my uh, questionnaire necessarily. And I probably don't even want them to see these fields in place. So I click Petrify. And it tells me all the fields will be converted to plain text and the questionnaire will be removed. And I say, yes, I want to do that. So I can send out of the office a nice, ordinary looking Word document that looks like I typed it from scratch. That's removing some metadata, but it's only removing the metadata related to the form tool and uh, Doxara. It's not removing any of that other stuff. 
Now, with our new update, you have an option to go a step further. Let's go back to that same form. Now, under Options, Metadata Scrubbing, you can turn on and off your metadata scrubber. I click that, and it tells me the option to remove metadata during the petrify process is currently off. Do you want to turn it on? I'm going to say yes. And it tells me metadata will now be removed from documents during the petrify process. Warning, removed metadata is not recoverable. It includes comments, document properties, including author, email headers, annotations, track change revisions, and routing slips. OK, so there's all kinds of stuff which is automatically going to be removed from every document that I petrify from now on because I have turned that option on. Let's see what happens here. I'm clicking OK. And first, I'm going to show you a before and after here. Before, if we look into the file info, we can see there is indeed some metadata in there. There's the author, Scott Campbell, and last modified by Scott Campbell. Now I'll petrify the document with my usual petrify button. Notice that the message here has changed a little bit. It still says fields will be converged to plain text, but now there's a new paragraph here that says metadata will also be scrubbed from this document. To turn off metadata scrubbing, click Options Metadata Scrubbing on the Docs or tab. Are you sure you want to proceed? OK, so I get an extra little indicator here that lets me know, oh yeah, I forgot. I turned on my uh, metadata scrubber a couple of weeks ago. So the, this is also going to scrub the metadata from this document. If for some reason you do not want to scrub metadata from this document, do not proceed. Click No here and go back to your options and turn off metadata scrubbing. Until you turn off metadata scrubbing, it's going to happen on every document that you petrify. So be aware of this paragraph. Let it remind you what's going to happen and think about the fact that uh, you actually do want it to happen. So I'm going to say, yes, I do want to proceed. The, uh, oops, I didn't fill in the document first. Let's do it again, filled in. Open up the form. Fill in the form first, fill. And then I'll petrify. It tells me metadata will be scrubbed. I click yes. There's my petrified document. It looks just the same as before on the surface. But if I look into my file info screen, I can see, oh yeah, the metadata has been removed. There's no longer an author associated with this document. There's no longer a total editing time associated with this document. All kinds of metadata even stuff that I can't see here in this screen has been removed from this document, all as oops, all has part of the same uh, process. And no extra steps for me. I just clicked uh, Petrify the same way I always do before I send a document out of the office. Uh, and no additional clicks, no extra steps. Every document that I Petrify is getting uh, metadata scrubbed at the same time.